I just want to talk to you today about uh, bankruptcy and how it can help you. So what is a discharge? It's simple. A discharge is a federal bankruptcy court order that says you no longer owe the money. It's as if the, the government has written a check to the creditors and they've said, okay, thanks for paying me off. Now, the government did not write a check to the creditors, but the bankruptcy code has said you cannot pursue this individual to collect this debt anymore. Now, there are five kinds of debt that are non-dischargeable. Student loans, alimony and child support, taxes less than three years old, damages arising from fraud, and damages arising from a DUI, including fines or penalties. Now, understand there's some other unique um, uh, claims that might not be dischargeable, but those are the five main ones. Now, you have to ask yourself, do I owe any of those debts? If you don't, then you're gonna get a discharge provided you don't lie on your bankruptcy papers. The one reason that you're not gonna get your discharge if you lie on your bankruptcy papers. Do not lie to your lawyer. Do not lie on your bankruptcy papers. You're gonna get a fresh start. You're gonna get a clean slate Tell the truth in 35 years of filing bankruptcy cases. I've only had one client that did not get a discharge. Do you know why? That client lied to me. They lied on their bankruptcy papers and they had to give up their discharge. You don't want to do that. Just tell the truth, good, bad, or ugly. We stand on what the truth is. So after you have your creditors meeting about three months later, so you're talking about four months total, somewhere between four months and five months, you're gonna get your discharge. And when you get your discharge, generally your bankruptcy case is over. If you uh, have reaffirmed debt, you gotta keep making those payments on that reaffirmed debt. If you haven't reaffirmed any debt, then you're not making any of those payments. And understand you're making the payments for your household expenses anyway all through the case. It's payments on debt, money that you owe, that you're not making because of the bankruptcy. But just remember that anything you're gonna reaffirm on, that you're gonna keep like your house, your car, you gotta keep making those payments. Please come back to this channel and get more tips on how the bankruptcy process works because I'm here to help you understand, is this right for me? I'm Dan Scott, I file bankruptcy cases. Mm -hmm.